So here we are in the Organization Configuration Work Center of the Exchange Management Console. Here's the mailbox node, and we're on the Manage Default Folders tab. Now one of the options you're going to see here in the Actions is New Manage Default Folder. And we'll select this one first to kick off the wizard. But before we do that, it's important to explain that we're not actually going to create new default folders. In other words, we won't be able to create additional copies of default folders so your users won't have two inboxes or two deleted items. What it does is it simply creates additional instances that you can then have additional managed content settings over. This will make a little bit more sense when we put a policy together and we start drawing upon the instances that we've created. So if we click the new manage default folder, the wizard begins. To start with, we have to give it a name. So let's call this one deleted items 2. And then it says default folder type. It says all other folders in the mailbox or if we select the down arrow. In this case, let's make it similar to deleted items. We can display a comment when the folder is viewed in Outlook. And we can say do not allow users to minimize this comment in Outlook. In this case, we're just going to click New. And now we have the deleted items managed folder. Now you might say, well, here it is, but what does this do for me? Well, initially it does nothing. The next step in the process is to create new managed content settings. Now if we select the original deleted items folder, we could establish new managed content settings over that particular folder. But in this case, we created a secondary instance of it, and we're going to create our content settings over that instance. If we select this link, it kicks off the new managed content settings wizard, and here it says name of the managed content settings. So let's say what we want to do is, after 60 days, we want voicemails removed from the deleted items folder. So we'll call this one voicemail removal. Message type, if we select the down arrow, in this case we want voicemail. And then length of retention, if we select that checkbox, 60 days. So what's going to happen is the retention period starts when a voicemail is added to the deleted items folder. So here, when item is moved to the folder, not when it's delivered because it's not an inbox, but when the item is moved to the folder. The action to take at the end of the retention period is we're going to permanently delete that voicemail. So this gives a user plenty of time. If we click next, we can actually decide that before we delete that item, we want to make sure that we have a journaled copy of it. So we can forward copies to a specific email address. But in this case, we're going to bypass that. We're just going to click Next. Here's our configuration summary, and we click New. So it's finished. But now, at this point, if we select the little plus sign, we see the settings. And we can make adjustments to those settings if we click Properties but these settings are still not applied to a user. Before these settings can be applied to a user, we have to add them into a mailbox policy, and then we need to apply that policy to a user. Now you might say, okay, let's do that right now. But before you do that, being that you can only apply one mailbox policy to a user, you may want to wait until you have all of your settings in place so that you can then make one incredible policy that you're going to apply to that user. So this is just the beginning. We created an additional managed default folder, and then on that default folder, we created managed content settings. In future lessons, we'll discuss custom folders, creating the mailbox policy, and applying that policy. So we hope you found this informative, and we'll see you in the next lesson.